Hello again, welcome to Ask Dr. Payne. Here we are, Atlantic Coast Aesthetics, plastic surgery question and answer session. This is from someone that sent some photos and wants to know what the recovery is like for an inner and outer thigh lift. Now, first of all, on the pictures that I saw, the person has pretty good skin and fairly thick thighs, not really thick, but moderate. That person actually should not be getting an inner or outer thigh lift. Uh, they should be getting liposuction. And the question is, a lot of surgeons will only do liposuction to limited parts of the thighs, and that is understandable because if you get away from the standard areas of, of liposuction in the thighs, you can get some problems with skin irregularities and other issues, and those problems can be hard to fix. This person I would want to see in person and figure out what exactly her goals are, what the skin looks like in person, and Probably some type of liposuction for the thighs, whether we do all the way around or just specific areas, is going to be better than thigh lift uh, because there's not enough skin laxity. Now, for someone that does have skin laxity, what's the recovery like for inner and outer thigh lift? Well, the recovery can be a little bit tricky because the scars are placed in a little bit of a sensitive area. And that's not a big deal. My patients tend to do pretty well with this because we do a fair number of thigh lifts. We like doing this procedure and we've got the methods down where we try to minimize the difficulty of recovery. If you don't smoke cigarettes and you're otherwise healthy and you take care of things, I expect the incisions to heal pretty much all the way through with no issues. With thigh lifts, you can get little areas of delayed healing, not big and not a big deal in most cases, uh, but not all of it. Usually almost all of it will heal fine. The outer thigh lift is probably a little easier. Um, it can be sore there, but the inner thigh lift is where it's a little touchy because of where you're, you know, you have to use the bathroom and you're walking. It, it, this incisions can have some, some uh, tightness there. And if it's done the right way, it should be anchored to the deep fascia, and that can be a little tight until your body has adjusted to it. But in general, um, it's not a big recovery. If you've had C-sections or any kind of intra-abdominal surgery, anything like that, that is a lot bigger. Uh, so I wouldn't worry too much. People aren't in a lot of pain or anything like this, but they do need to follow the care instructions that are given. And every one of us, you know, varies a little bit in what we tell patients to do. But in my practice, we don't worry too much about it. We might not do the combination inner and outer thigh lift, depending on what's going on, what your health history is, and so forth, because we want to keep things safe as our primary focus in all cases. Um, but in selected people, both are, are done at the same time. So I hope that helps. If you have a question, feel free to contact us through any of our channels or direct to the email, drpayne at acplasticsurge.com. And we do our best we can to help you. Take care.